Now with your Storm Team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So it's gotten pretty cold. Is it going to get colder? It's going to get colder as we go through the night. Tomorrow's going to be kind of chilly, too, compared to today. And it's all thanks to the cold front that came through this evening. And it came through around 5 o'clock. As you look back at the time lapse, you saw the clouds hang around through most of the day. But watch the direction of them kind of shift as we got to around 5 o'clock. That's when that front moved through. And behind it, we've had a lot of moisture riding up over that thing. Nothing that could turn into any rain, but enough that it's going to stay clear. Cloudy tonight. Out ahead of that front, we climbed up to a high of 69. We started off the morning at 54. That's not what's going to go down as the low, though. The low is pretty much the temperature we're at right now, and it's probably going to be the temperature we reach around 1159. 60 degrees, your average high, your average low, 34. Record, by the way, 85 in 2010, and 6 degrees in 1918. Won't be that cold or that warm for a while, but this was a pretty substantial front. We Thought it would kind of take its time cooling us down, but it cooled us down pretty quickly. We got up into the upper 60s today, and then around 5 o'clock went from 66 down to 49 degrees. That's some pretty cold air working through, and now sitting at 42 as of the 10 o'clock hour. So the cold air continues to sweep down into our area tonight. Sunny but cool weather on the way tomorrow thanks to it. And then our temperatures start to go up and down thanks to a few cold fronts that are going to work through our area. Look at this cool down, though. You can really tell where that cold air is. It's sitting just to our north right now. 32 in Wichita Falls, 68 out ahead of the front, 43 in Waco, and 42 here in San Angelo. Across the Concho Valley, we're mainly dealing with those temperatures in the upper 30s and uh, also some low 40s where that front is still trying to push that cold air through. 43 right now in Junction. Compare that with 39 in Sterling City, 35 in Braun, it's 39 in Eden, 41 in Mertz and 42 right now in San Angelo. You factor in that wind, though, and it is a strong wind, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, and it feels very near freezing in most locations, feeling like the 20s out there in Glasscock County. Winds continue to push out of the south or out of the north, rather, at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, and very dry air working in with this front, too. That means any sort of rain you see on the live radar network right now it's not reaching the ground, but it is keeping things cloudy, and you can see those clouds out there right now, and all that rain pushing off to the east, unless some of it's going to make it to the ground, especially off into East Texas. That's where they're going to be dealing with rain tonight. Any travel plans towards Austin, you're going to be dealing with that rain. And it's all where that front is. Behind that front, though, things starting to quickly clear out with high pressure settling on in. That's here tomorrow, and that means quiet weather, but it does mean a cool air mass is in place. So it's going to be chilly as we go into the day tomorrow. By the time you wake up, dropping down into the 30s as you take a look at future casts, going down to the low 30s, maybe a few upper 20s over in our northern counties. We only manage the upper 40s and low 50s tomorrow with winds out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. That means that wind chill is going to be in the mid 40s. And then as we start off the day on Thursday, with the wind starting to shift back around to the south, we won't be as cold, although some of you will still deal with a freeze. And then during the day on Thursday, those southerly winds bring warmer air. We're climbing back up into the 60s. Now, I told you that's the first of a few fronts, and it's because we're in this northwest flow aloft. So that first front came through today. We've got another one that comes through pretty close to Friday, and yet another one Saturday into Sunday. It it's next week, though, that we see another plunge of that Arctic air that may start to come down as we head towards the middle of next week. That may be the first substantial front we've had in a while. These other fronts, maybe a 10, 20 degree drop. That one could be a pretty sharp one. We'll be watching it very closely. Tonight, temperatures falling down into the 30s. I'm calling for a low of 30 here in San Angelo. Decreasing clouds and turning cold. Wednesday, climbing up to 52. Sunny but cool with northwest winds at 5 to 10. And as you take a look at that extended forecast, we're going to see those up and down temperatures with the fronts coming through until we get into Saturday. That's when we could have a little bit of rain with one. Models are starting to hint at this, so I've got a 30% chance of rain. We'll watch it over the next few days, and then we'll get up to 6 65 Monday before that next front comes through, and that one brings a pretty good chill with it. 50 degrees there on Tuesday. We'll be right back.